Hey guys, it's Streaming Astronaut here. This is my second video and I thought it would be a great time to break the ice and get out of my comfort zone and talk to you guys. I know it might be a bit early to share why I started my YouTube channel, but I thought to myself, why should I wait? So here goes. I initially started making bookmarks, I think last year. I thought it was something a lot of people could use and it's not something too big or too small, but it's big enough to fit a sketch or a painting in. I recently focused on bookmarks more because of a business project at school called the Tenor Challenge. Briefly put, you need to make a business and go through a series of stages which you have to log onto a website to prove that you're working on it and developing your business. I worked with three of my friends and we chose to sell art. So each of us did our own artistic thing. My friend did commissions, uh, another of my friend did graffiti art, and my other friend did small TV sketches. It was awesome. Um, it was really hard, but we had a great result in the end. At a lot of people used some of my bookmarks in their planners, but my business teacher took a different approach on it and she bought three bookmarks simply to put them in a frame <laughs> and she brings it to class and everything, it's really nice. I went completely off track there, um, <laughs> so get used to that. Back to why I started my YouTube channel, I started the channel mainly because I've always wanted one, especially so that I could just share something with the world. I wanted to have a progress documented somewhere where anyone could see it, and especially for myself, I want to see myself grow artistically. It's quite hard though to get out there. I did my first video, and when I got down to editing it, I just about understood why YouTubers have videos of themselves breaking down, crying, saying that they want to quit YouTube and everything, because because that's exactly what I did. I didn't even upload my first video and I was just about ready to quit YouTube before I even started it. The whole process of cutting down the video, speeding it up, adding the effects, the music, the camera angles and adding the description, the thumbnails and the tags. Like seriously, I'm telling you, those six hours of editing a video that was six minutes long and a three hour wait to actually upload it, it was hard enough. <laughs> But I'm sure that one day I'm gonna get used to it and I'll get it done much faster and I'll easily like edit it without spending six hours. Um, but the whole bookmark thing of skeletons, well, I chose to pick human signs that are universal, like the rock sign, or in this example, two people holding hands. I used skeletons because well, if I were to use skin, I'd have to pick a skin color, and then there's really no point in doing that if we all look the same in the inside. So as soon as I thought about that, I said, why don't I just pick things that everyone can recognize without, you know, having to use skin color and stuff like that. So I did a rock sign, I have a peace sign, I have uh, I love you in sign language, I have two people holding hands. And as soon as I can like make enough of the same of my bookmarks, so as in prints, I will probably put them on for sale so that you guys can buy them. I asked on my Instagram story if anyone had any suggestions as to what to talk about in my videos, and I thought it would be best if I just did completely separate videos to answer them. But if you have any suggestions, you can just comment below. If you're interested in seeing what I use, my art supplies, it's all in my description, and so is the music. So thank you guys for watching and I'll get speaking to you next time. Bye.